Uh, our Tracy Lair has more on, you know, not needing to be an astronomer to appreciate all these incredible pictures. James Webb begins a voyage back to the birth of the universe. NASA has only just begun releasing photos from the Webb Space Telescope. The visuals, the pictures are amazing. Astronomers like to compare the images from the Webb launched late last year and the Hubble launched in 1990. Westmont professor emeritus Ken Kilstrom says it's the Webb's location a million miles away and its infrared observatory that sets it apart. The Webb telescope was launched Christmas Day last, last Christmas, but the first pictures were released yesterday. It's an infrared telescope. That allows you to see way early in the universe. Um, you can see from way far away. Um, dust in the universe isn't blocked by it, so you can see things you couldn't see with the Hubble telescope, and that makes it fun as well. Kilstrom says it makes life more meaningful when you think about it. It's going to allow us to make real scientific advances to understand the Big Bang better. What were early galaxies like? Because we're going to be able to see so much further in the past because of what the Webb telescope can do for us. Both telescopes are solar powered. If it sparks your interest, Westmont College is inviting people to its observatory this Friday. It does so every third Friday of the month. Super fortuitous that the web pictures are being published now with the third Friday uh, observatory open to the public. Uh, we're really excited and hopefully it'll generate some interest and get a lot more people out here to the observatory. Members of the Santa Barbara Astronomical Unit will also be on hand with their telescopes. For more information, visit our mobile app or website. In Montecito, I'm News Channel reporter Tracy Lair.